All right, we're back in the daytime kitchen with Chef Ted, and we've cut up our butternut squash here. Yeah, so we've got it cut in some rounds. We'll just cut it into something smaller and manageable. Mm -hmm. Like you I said, dice. Well, you got big chunks. It there. doesn't have to be doesn't dice. Uh, yeah, right. The smaller you dice it, the quicker it's going to cook. Okay. So it just depends on how patient you are. Mm -hmm. um, so once you get it all diced. And so this inside here where the seeds were, yeah. just scoop those out. You can use a spoon, a grapefruit spoon, if you have one that has little ridges on it. Works great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you have one of those. Oh, on. is that what those are for? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> I've is. I've seen those. Uh, um, now I know. These seeds, seeds are just like pumpkin seeds. If you want to go through the effort of rinsing and oh, roasting yeah. and all that, oh. it can be a really cool garnish. But I'm sometimes I'm too lazy to be honest. I mm. know. So that, I mean, speaking that my language nice. there. <laughs> really? Sounds nice, but yeah, it's a yeah, lot. Yeah. What a thought. So yeah. once all this is added. Take it to the stove, and you want to put it on medium to medium high. You want to be careful with high because of the cream; it'll boil over. Just keep it on it. Okay. I'm always that guy that boils over the cream. Then I'm gonna clean mm, it up, but yeah. try not to. So you want to let it cook until it's it's fork tender. So just like you're cooking a potato or something, yeah. you want to be able to stick a knife or a fork into it until it's tender. Okay. Once it's tender, which it's not gonna be done it's right, not right second, now. No, <laughs> but I've got some other done, so it's okay. okay. Yeah. But once it's tender, you want to strain this. You want to save the liquid, so you want to strain it over a container like this. Okay. You'll take your pulp or whatever vegetable you're using there, put it right in a blender, blender. Mm -hmm. blend it up, and as it's blending, you're going to add some of your cream and veg stock add or it back in. soy milk, in okay. your case, whatever yeah. you want. You yeah. add it while it's warm in there until you get the consistency that you like. Season it with a little bit of salt. Okay. Try to keep it nice and simple. If you, you can use the same recipe, you can adapt it and add cinnamon or curry mm. or... Allspice mm -hmm. or Natalie makes a really good butternut squash soup. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. She's judging mine and right no, now. No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 In fact, okay. I'm trying to think what's in mine that makes yeah. it different. I think there are some spices. Some spices. In there, some nutmeg. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's right. personal preference. I try to whenever I make a soup, I try to make it taste like the vegetable. Yeah, but okay. mine's definitely a cream base, which I really like. Really? And the problem is, and I always question this: Can I freeze it? Uh, you can, mm -hmm. but like freezing anything, you can freeze proteins, you can freeze all that stuff, but sometimes it does get weird, it's a little weird when yeah. you reheat it. Um, okay. You just want to make sure when you reheat it, you reheat it really subtly. Um, let it thaw in your fridge overnight, not in the sink, because when it gets stuff okay. out, it gets weird. So, mm -hmm. yes, okay. no, maybe. So keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So how long will it take to, uh, roughly, would you say? Well, I would say it's probably about 10 or 15 minutes. But okay. Do we still have a little bit? Do you yes, have my I, I got another yeah. thing to show you. So yeah, nice okay. little quick garnish. Mm -hmm. um, these are some candied pumpkin seeds. Ooh. And I oh, hate one. canning the traditional way. It's yeah. like add egg whites, throw this, do this, do okay. that, and it's just a pain. So this is a great method. Mm -hmm. um, I got it on a website online called Chef Steps, the nonprofit. They just show cool videos and educational stuff. So what you want to do is take whatever nut that's raw, mm -hmm. pecans, pumpkin seeds. This is great if you do so it right. Good. It can be a cool Christmas gift. Yeah. A um, little bit of boiling water. You add your pumpkin seeds or whatever nut or seed you're doing. Obviously, my water stopped boiling a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. But it's all right. It's just to kind of soften it up. Once we soften it, you're going to strain it, and you're actually going to toss it in confectioner sugar. Oh. oh That's really? why it's so good. Well, okay. I was wondering why you had that over there. From there, though, is the, the next process. Oh, okay. All it is is so it boils for just a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. You toss it confectioner sugar, and then you deep fry it. Oh. So if you have a little fry it. It does bit, get more complicated. Well, that's it. It's, that's it, though. Okay. And you're done. Okay. So yeah. they're relatively quick, and it gives you... Those taste like they're toasted, doesn't it? So good. They were never toasted. They were raw. It's just because the frying process cooks... Cooks yeah, the seed and nuts. That's and great. do you put this on top of your soup? Yeah, we're going actually doing oh. a uh, Thanksgiving buffet. Yeah. Okay. At 419. If okay. you're still over a place, you yeah. don't want to cook at your house, we'll take care of that. But mm -hmm. we'll do this on our, our buffet and have a bunch of random accompaniments. We'll have some right. apples and sage leaves and all kinds of different stuff. Great. So go on out there and you don't have to do any cooking. Yep. Absolutely. Ted, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.